after almost two years of continuous development of the editors, this was my very baptism of fire in level creation. My first big level edited ever, that is. Making the base for this level was my assignment for week 8 this year, and I must confess, I was pretty excited about it all. You know, not ever having used in the editors in a real life run, I was wondering how well I was going to do. I'm going to A good thing about me using the tools I am dedicated to develop is that I could get a close view on how they feel when working with them and it's easier and quicker to get bugs fixed when working like this, as they usually get in the middle of the way and the only solution is just getting your hands dirty and fix them. This also works well for small features that don't take much time to add. I'm not sure which one I added from working on this level, but it usually starts like thinking, oh, being able to do this or that would be really nice, and ends up with the feature in the editor. Not everything works like this, you know. I actually have an endless list of stuff to add to the editors, but there is always so little time. They will come eventually, that's for sure, or maybe not. August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Two levers on the top floor are not working. It's probably some problem with the machinery. Someone do that. Alright, not that one that. I don't know if it's not that one that is in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Bro, that's pretty much enough for the trap on this at the door. That's just pretty much enough for the trap on this at the door.
så er det som det fenger, altså. Eller det... Ja, det kjente spesielt. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes? Soon. I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Men det er noen der. Er du ikke her? Jeg må ta reda på sånn. Det er vel på mål en annen person som har blitt offret, det er nærmere to år nå. The Agrippa Awaken sequence is inspired by the movie 7, when they find the sloth victim. I thought that scene was really disturbing, so it stuck to me. When writing the design of the Agrippa event, it came to mind instantly. A fun thing about the Agrippa is that it was first supposed to be a severed head that was placed at several locations in the game. It then later turned into the guy that is in the game now. If you wonder why he does not have a lower jaw, then that's because we did not have the resources for voice sync. It was then worked into the story though, as Alexander does not want him talking when he shouldn't. Hva faen er det da? Hva faen er det da? Hva faen er det da? Hvem kan du være? Du er den første menneskene jeg har tatt her som er levende. Å, endelig! Det er olje! Really? Then if you tell the truth, by all means, 
Seek out the pieces of the broken wall and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leave man, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transept. You should be able to find them there. Mm, six to jump. Okay. Det bra om vi försöker hitta dem då. Och starta dem. Alltså jag skulle ju bara be om att vi dödade dem då. Jag fall i hans sitt. Dad, I have to bother you first. But if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at it. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Heim, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help them. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. Just as the hit note and that antiquity given of Joel Weyer. An orb is needed to enter the inner sanctum. It's shattered pieces like scattered in the torture rooms. Och det innebär att det var sex olika skärvor vi skulle hitta. Vad är det? Ja, exakt. Så många av Alexanders saker är brytande. Låta på dig! Kanske det är en annan rum. Det är maskinparti i alla andra platser. Du får finna en väg att fixa det. Det kommer ni säkert göra. Oj, här har vi flera olika dörrar vi kan gå in i. I told Thomas that I wanted a character that the player could look at, or at least know that someone was talking to him right now, as in no flashbacks, no ghosts, or memories. It's something solid the player could depend on being real. However, a character is really expensive stuff. You need a voice, a model, textures, animations, behavior. So we finally came up with this idea about a stationary character so we could cut down on animations and behavior. At this time, Agrippa was just a character, a real historical character actually, I had used as the writer for a letter found in the first stages of the game. But we upgraded him, and made him a part of the plot. The reason I find him so valuable is that he joined the ranks of Daniel and Alexander, making this so much more complex and intriguing. And of course, it also quite naturally led to the split ending thing. Då står vi in här. Åh, Jesus! Hjälp! Åh! Åh, vad händer? Åh, hjälp! Spring! Åh, gud! Åh, vad gör! Åh! Åh, Jesus! Åh! Får vi gå in nu då? Nu kan vi gå in! Jag tror att det var nog bara mörkret där under studien som... Back on the level editing was an interesting experience to say the least. I started with the room with the door leading to level 22 and made my way up from there. I managed to build a reasonable base in a bit over a week's time. It took a bit long, having into account that not all models needed for the level were available at the time I started working on it, and that blaming my experience in level building, I had to remake some parts a lot of times, like the room I started with. It was Marcus who took the level from where I left it, and I must say he did an awesome job. I'm not sure how much of my original work still stands in there, but the final version looks really sweet. I didn't get more level creation assignments after this one, possibly because I am actually more productive in other kinds of tasks. But I'm happy I had the chance to try. Hmm. So yeah. I just. I had a vegan thing. The bomb set. Oj, vad har vi här inne då? 
Ah, oh, what about blood? Or oh, those are the bones to the tomb. I don't know. I'm going to do a fill on I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. The taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in a dim haze. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. It's cut speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Uh, they will be back. Hoppas inte att det är trilla av sådana här zombies som du gjorde i... Som du gjorde i... Uh, där vi var i... Fängelse av hållarna tidigare. In this level, it is easily done to not see the whole level. If you have all the ore pieces when coming here, you will get captured at the start and will not get a chance to see the rest of the level. There is a whole area to the east consisting of two very detailed rooms. So if you end up being captured on your first visit, make sure to come visit again. as a preamble to the torture and you should pace yourself don't take anyone before they are ready understood sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling manage your victims well and let one prisoner's pain instill terror that over the top and to next this thing alexander really my man as is it you had i You've never heard of Johan Meyer? My God, boy. 
His brother is the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Or is it the world who has forgotten you? Ah, but the... Well... I will be there if I'm the real son. I am the real son. My pupil. My pupil. Yes. I do take pride in that man. Is it so wrong? Så ja, nu borde det funka. Nu återvänder vi till uh, toppen och till det här i rummet. Det är den allt som du håller på att på oss nu. Mm, det är bra. Nu ska vi gå in i de här områdena till höger och vänster och så försöka hitta De här skärvorna till den här kulan.
staircase is inspired by the haunting, the black and white version. I really love spiral staircases and I find there's something ominous about them. Also worth noting is that torture devices in the level are all real and that things similar to those depicted had happened in real life, even in present days. For example, Stapado is still a common torture method. As discussed in another commentary spot, we try to take the subject seriously and stay away from just the volume in gore and stuff. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Orphan! Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Som sagt, jag kan ju lyssna, men det, det, det får vara beredda på lite tycka beskrivningar. Kidnapper satt hon över nys för att hans tide behind her back. She felt her hands be lifted her body full of her shoulder gave away to her away from her own body. And cracked loudly, the suspended woman tried hysterically as the man contemplated their next step. Oh, Ja, då hade vi en sån där uh, de färga i alla fall. Ja, nu får jag bläddra nu att uh, jag ska trycka beskrivningar. Det är väldigt äckligt. Det är nästan lite väl överdrivet tror jag. Det är nästan lite som mycket för mycket. Det är äckligt och sånt. Vad är det här då? Vi kan ta den där då först. He just hanged upside down, his tears soiled the blood that flooded from his belly. The soul between his legs had lodged itself in their hip, no any further. The man stepped back and waited for the victim to grow. I found a body to see. Andra farvan. Det vi gör bara är att gå upp för trappan nu.
Det är kanske hans rätta ansikte egentligen. Eftersom han verkar inte vara människa utan för den där på folk. Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to say about torture. I have a feature that the reaction we get from the victim will be highly individual. Thankfully, it is not the case. The humans have all very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence with a strange extent to their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but will also hinder the effect of them after. The right steps to take care of to take are therefore to restrain by the victim is still dazed. Proceed by presenting the form of torture about to imply want to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely effective as its will triggers itself into great fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain may sure to avoid massive damage, it will prove more effective, efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in death If possible, the bridge to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once. Wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, we continue to produce the vitality and saturate the blood with its proprieties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield the maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it's likely that it will be for now. Before this happens, feed, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Uh. Mm. Oh, the Lord uh, Bertalt. Uh, it is you, my love. I miss, mo miss the most who is perceives myself. I knew what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan, perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The black eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my help on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I turn to turn on now, I shall perish. Mm hmm. I'm a bra, a little old, yeah. I have a case of the defense on fire, but. I'm going to call her a dump. I. The first thing you type. It's kind of fun, or perhaps I should say disturbing, that the methods Alexander describes in note could almost be used to describe how we do horror. I will let you draw your own conclusions from that. So so that do so that right here at the so the moon. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm 
not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. The soundtrack trying as it was slowly lowered on of the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. The other went to him to die, but the torture was working beyond the expectation. It wasn't a method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Till. Det är precis lite så mycket mer man kan göra, tror jag. Då är det nästa avgörande stöd till. Åh, oh, nej, det är den mörkra som kommer. Oh. Spring! Ja, för det är fel. Jag tror att det är rätt särskilt nu eftersom... Nej. Go to the choir and find the rest. Nah, no, I don't. You must go in the other room, don't you? The remaining orb pieces can be found in the shore. Um, let's go in here. Agrippa Shannon's Veyer. Veyer taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my two reasons for my efforts and still insists on releasing Agrippa. I want an enlightened man to show such lack of compassion in a seat of power distressed me. I can't bring myself to apart from my drip as it is and it's been for centuries my only link to worlds beyond. Where you claims he tried his best to release me from my banishment, but he needs to give me a drippa first to if two can help. If he could guarantee success, I would be happily obliged. But I have I'm apart from him is if they return might be denied. I knew what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it and I shall prepare for its release. His release. To release Dripper without killing him, where you told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, a tie, and a tempter. The poisonous fan dip should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from the large pismal. The shell soil seems to be fertile ground of this sort. I should then be able to extract this contents with the proper tools. The wood type 
could be extracted as usual from an agonized human victim's blood I just need a large amount of to distill it properly and remember to collect it during the next torture session. Tempter on the other hand will prove more difficult. I don't think it's exist in this world. Simply writing the word with the letters is not wrong. Tempter on the other hand will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with the letters is wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water del incarnate. I will have to address the way with this, as we will, he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. In court, the order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lows the sounds in a silent cover before regaining their senses. They all knew I am the one and same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to form this great order. I have seen them, them take their father's place and they will too will do all and pass away while, while I remain the same or age not by time but by anguish. Hold on. Det är på mat att han inte är en människa. Nej, Alexander. Mm, nu är det dags för mig att gå vidare. Om inte det finns något här i lådorna. Ja, det var en tastig jobb. Så. Nej, tastig tast. Det har varit någon ritual, en sån där pantogram. Den 15 august 1839. De blodvårdarna är fälliga. De skärna och de skärna och de skärna och de skärna och de skärna. Hörri, det är inte tid att spela. Du måste döda en annan. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Please, I didn't do anything! Take the man, cut the lines, take the man, cut the lines! Please, the man cries. Så hade han satt de här klippen. En liv för en annan. Du hör mig, guardian av det all. Jag gjorde allt det för dig. Nu, en gång till. Utfra din skärna från min domän. Det var alltså någon återblick. Alexander, det är inte mycket tid. Jag kan känna det. Vi måste agera snabbt. Jag vill göra vad det tar.
for the torture levels, it was not all that fun to make the sounds. It has a nerve-wracking feeling to it, and I can't say that it is completely enjoyable to make entertainment out of such horrible contraptions. This part of the game is not for show and fun, its purpose is to create an instinctive feel of horror and repulsion to what these devices are capable of. In the vision, as Daniel performs the ritual, the muffled sound of the man on the table is my own voice. I do some exclusive appearances throughout the game, in fact in all the number games I am fairly certain there is a Jens here and there. But nothing prior has been so disturbing to work with as in this vision, when having to tweak the flow and style of the events and at the same time having to hear your own panicking, pleading, muffled voice. Next Kärna tunna kulan. Hörs.